six. I welcome you all once again to your English class. Children, for today's English lesson, it's not going to be the conventional method of me explaining the text to you. But today, we will be meeting various people who are different. We will know about their likes and dislikes and we will know what they like doing, right? So, uh, yes, you can see who I am. Do you know who you are? If I ask you, if you have to explain me about yourself, would you be able to do that? Would you be able to tell me who are you? Yes, I would be able to tell you. I am Shmeda Shikla. Yes, and I am your English teacher. I like painting, dancing and other recreational activities. I love teaching children. I love being a part of this education system and so on. I can go on and on. When I have to speak about myself, I can. So we are going to meet a variety of people. We are going to learn about their habits in this chapter. Who I am. Before you read, so you will find this chapter, children, on page number 69. And this is chapter 6. Before you read, in this lesson, we look at what we are like. And how each of us is different. So children, yes, you, we, we are different from each other. Not because I am your man and you are my student, but because we all are created with different qualities. Yes, we need to appreciate, we need to understand what makes us. Yes, now let's begin. We are all interesting people in different ways and we are all good at different things. As you read this, think about what you are like and what you enjoy doing. Yes, now part one, many voices. Now let's meet Radha and let us know something about her. My favorite activity is climbing tree. So yes, Radha enjoys climbing trees. Just outside our house, there is a guava tree which I love to go up. Yes. Do you enjoy climbing trees like Radha does? Its branches spread, spread out so it is simple to climb up the tree. Yes, yeah, she takes the help of the branches. She holds at each step and then she climbs up. And I can sit comfortably in the fork of two branches. Yes, you might uh, have eaten your noodles with forks, right? You might have uh, seen this thing. The spoon, right? I don't know. I'll be able to draw that or not, but yes, I'm trying. <laughs> yes, this, this is a fork. When a fork is created, there are two different parts which are separated. Yes, so you know you might have uh, used this for your noodles. Yes. My mother tells me it is not sensible for girls to climb trees. Yes, you know in our tradition like old people, ancient people have to hold all these things. Girl can do this, girl cannot do those things. So here Radha has been told by her mother that she cannot climb trees because uh, that is very much limited to the men, to the boys. But one afternoon she climbed up to. So her mother told that uh, girls do not climb trees. But one day, one afternoon, her mother herself climbed the tree. See, so fun. And both of us sat there talking and eating raw mangoes. So yes, they climbed on mango tree and they both uh, sat up high on the branches and they ate raw mangoes. The mangoes which were not ripe. When I am high up in the tree, I feel like I can do the whole world. So what is the feeling that Radha gets when she climbs up the tree? She feels that she is the ruler of the world. Yes, children? Interesting. Now let's see. Next one. Nasi. We have another boy. Let's see what he is saying about himself. When I grow up, I want to become a seed collector. Quite interesting, right? Let's see. We have cotton fields in our village and every year 
My father spends a lot of money on buying new seeds to grow our cotton plants. My grandfather told me that many years ago he could collect the seeds from his own plants which could be sown to grow new plants. See, this is a good job, right? You know that seeds, obviously the older plants, plants which are already a full ripened state or ready for harvest, they are already fetching you seeds. So when you collect seeds and you use them, you get the trees, you get the crops. But today that doesn't work. So we have to spend money to buy new seeds every single year. But he's concerned because that method which was used in the in his grandmother in his grandfather's time is no more applicable. It is not suitable. I want to find out why that is so. So why he wants to collect seed? Because yes, seed were seed were same then also, now also seeds are same. But he wants to find that why is it not growing now like it used to grow in the earlier days. I want to learn how to preserve seeds so that we can use them again and not spend money every year. Now see, Nasir had this good thought, good plan, right? He wants to be a seed collector. He wants to be a seed collector. Now let's see Rohit. If I had a huge amount of money, I would travel and travel. Yes, you might have dreamt of it as well. Like, uh, suppose if you got 100 rupees, you might have plans, right? Like, I will be treating my friends or I will be going to this place, maybe museum, maybe to children's park, maybe to zoo, right? Saving up each penny to visit some place. So, Rohit also wants to travel. I want to see the mountains of New Zealand because they looked beautiful in a magazine picture. So how, from where did he get the inspiration to visit, to travel New Zealand? Because he wants to go to uh, New Zealand to see the mountains. Because he was so fascinated, he was so attracted to a picture which he found in a magazine. So yes, see how the magazine inspired him to travel? I wish I could sail down the Amazon River in South America on a raft. So what he wants to do? He wants to be adventurous. You know raft is like uh, logs which are tied together and they are not like boats but they sail on water. Yes, they are so lightweight that they sail on, sail on water. I want to live on the beaches of Lakshadweep and dive down to see Kore. So yes, he has travel plans. He has already planned his holiday. So are you going for your holiday now after listening to what Rohit wants to do? I suppose I should go to Konak temple in Orissa or the old city in Beijing in China. Yes, his travel plans are not only limited to India but he wants to explore the world. He wants to go Beijing, he wants to, that means he wants to go in China's Beijing, he wants to go to see the New Zealand mountains, yes, and the pyramids in Egypt too, yes. So obviously uh, Egypt is famous for pyramids so he wants to visit. Egypt as well. But what I actually enjoy is seeing nature more than old buildings. Yes. So he doesn't want to visit any monument. He doesn't want to have that, he doesn't have the tendency to look at monuments, old buildings, but he's interested in natural things. That means nature. Okay. Now let's see what Sarjeet has to say. What makes me very angry is when people don't believe me when I'm telling the truth. Yes, he's frustrated, he's angry. Why? Because he feels that when, uh, when he's telling the truth and people do not believe him, it really makes him angry. It might have happened with you. You are telling your mother that, yes, mother, I did not eat the cookie today, I did not eat the biscuit, but your mother is not believing you. And Sarjit, for Sarjit, the same thing is happening. He, even when he tells the truth, no one believes him. Yes? For example, if I tell my teacher that I couldn't do my homework because Ravi borrowed my book and forgot to return it, or I tell my parents that it wasn't me but my little brother who started the war. So what things are not being believed? Like if he has told his teacher that 
he could not complete his homework because Ravi, one of his classmates and his friend, took his notebook, took his copy, his book, and he did not return it. The teacher is not believing him, but he is telling the truth. It, it makes him really angry. And what is the other instance? What is the other example? When uh, he uh, he tells his mother that it was not him who started the fight, but his little brother. But mother does not believe him either. Or if I tell my teacher that I really did study for the test, even if I have got bad marks, it might happen, right, children? That you might have studied, but the questions were totally different than what you studied, right? You could not remember. You got good marks, poor marks, so you could not get good marks. So there, you told your teacher that, ma'am, I studied. Teacher is not believing because you did not show it with your marks. So yes, sometimes it might happen. They all look at me as if they think I am telling lies. Yes, and it makes Sarjit really angry and pissed off. Now let's see. Sometimes I have to look down at my shoes. Yes, and count to ten so that I do. Yes, when he is angry, what does he do? Sometimes children, you know this works. When you are very much distracted, very much frustrated, very much angry, what you can do? You can just uh, focus your attention to something else. You can just drag your attention. You can pull out from your anger and focus on something else. Like think about the good food mother is cooking. Yes, it can work. So what did Sarjit do? Sarjit, Sarjit found this way to handle his anger. You may deduce, you may come up with your own plans. How you can control your anger. Yes, we can learn something from Sarjit. So, he counts to 10 and he looks at his shoes and then he does not want to show that he is angry. Now, let's move to Dolma. When I grow up, I am going to be the Prime Minister of India. People always laugh when I say that, but I am sure that I will do it. Yes? So, what, uh, what does Dolma want to become? She wants to become the Prime Minister of India. People always laugh when I say that, yes, because no one believes it, that how she will become the Prime Minister. But I am sure I will do it. She is confident, you see here. So this child, Dolma, is very confident. So confidence is the key. You can achieve anything when you have the willpower. Everyone in my class asks me what to do when they have a problem. And my teacher always trusts me when something needs to be done in school. So yes, children, yes, who is a good leader, who listens to people's problem, who understands it and they come up with solutions for the problems. The Prime Minister, our Prime Minister also does these things, right? So Dolma also wants to do all these things and come up with a plan and that's why she wants to be a Prime Minister. I want to make things better for everyone. Yes, a good leader always thinks of everyone before himself or herself. I want us to have good hospitals and roads and schools. Yes, see, because leaders, politicians, uh, they are for people. They want to serve the people. Yes, they want to do good. So Dolma also have this in her mind that she is going to help people. She is going to be what? She is going to uh, come up with solutions for all the problems that the people face. I want to make sure that there are many good scientists in India. Such noble thought, right? When scientists are there, we can understand our country will grow, it will progress, it will develop. Who will invent cures for diseases? Yes, why does she want to aid the scientists? Because they will come up with cures for diseases. Many diseases are, diseases are there which cannot be cured until now. So she is going to be the Prime Minister and she is going to uh, help the scientists and send a spaceship to Mars. So now, yes, her dream is already fulfilled. We have already reached Mars. Mars. Yes. Now, let's see the last boy, Peter. My favorite day is the second Sunday of every month. Now, let's see why second Sunday. Because Sunday is a holiday. So, what's specific about the second Sunday? On this day, our whole family always go to the cinema hall. See, some, sometimes children, what may happen? Sometimes your intelligence is all here and sometimes you are so emotional, you are so attached that you develop what? Social skills. 
yes that is also very important sometimes you may not pay attention on your social skills but they are also equally important it's important to to be able to communicate with people to be able to talk to people it's very important to have social skills so yes we can see why the second sunday is favorite for peter because on that sunday on the second su sunday uh, the whole family goes to the cinema hall and they uh, watch movie my father gets the ticket in advance and all of us advance means what it beforehand okay because it might happen that the show is house full on the very time you reach the cinema hall and you might miss a good movie so his father has this habit of getting the tickets in advance and all of us my grandmother my parents my two brothers and i take the bus so who all join uh, the uh, the uh, like you can say the watching of the movie watching for movie watching my two brothers and i and parents and grandmother take the bus there in the interval my father buys us peanuts yes so yes he enjoys this and i love to sit in the darkness of the hall eating and watching the film afterwards we always stop to eat ice cream yes so that's why the second sunday is favorite of peter because they have a color family time yes children family time is also important do not always engage you always engage yourself in uh, your cell phones come out of that see our world through your family because our source of happiness is our family so you need to understand this as well and i love to sit in the darkness of the hall eating and watching the film afterwards we also always talk to eat ice cream everyone is in good mood and we all feel very lucky that we are such a happy family yes so children uh, we are done with today's lesson i hope you enjoyed it or we can do one thing uh, before ending the lesson we can just uh, look at the different characters and understand how we work because see uh, we have the other part as well part 2 Let us first read a little bit about it, and then we will be learning about different kinds of intelligence. Because some people might think that only when we have enough knowledge here, then we are intelligent. No, children, just not academic knowledge won't help you that much. But you should have a variety of intelligence. You should try to develop a variety of intelligence, which we know, which we know as multiple intelligence. So let's. Each one of us is skilled or good at something. now you need to find what is your plus point what makes you happy plus what you can do effectively but do you know that different people are intelligent in different ways you might have heard that intelligent people are only those who are good in academics who are good in studies no children uh, smart people or intelligent people can be smart or intelligent in different ways visual intelligence verbal intelligence mathematical intelligence Now let's see what is visual intelligence. You like to think in pictures. Yes, if I showed you, if I would have drawn something here, like if I have drawn a cone here, you understood that ma'am is uh, talking about something which is branching, which is going in different direction, right? So you create mental images, like you understand maps. Yes, whenever you have to go to some place, you always Google map. You always use the Google map and you reach the place like accurately. so that way you have created mental images you enjoy looking at maps charts pictures videos and movies yes you enjoy videos you watch movies you watch cinemas okay now what you are good at so how when you are interested in all these things what things can be achieved what uh, good things you can achieve through this you are good at puzzle building you can make puzzles yes when you can connect images together you will find a solved puzzle so you can do this thing that you can solve puzzles really nicely so now see yes you uh, you start reading well you start writing well and you because you create you have seen certain things you have visualized certain images then you understand that you have uh, uh, you can pictureize it well and you can write it down you can read well and you can understand it. you can understand charts maps and graphs a sense of direction comes yes because you continuously look at maps you understand direction which way to go north south east west 
then you become good in sketching, painting, fixing or making objects, understanding pictures. Okay, for some of you, you might have thought, ma'am, ani trishul bana diya. It can be like that, right? What has ma'am made? But the people who have visual intelligence, they can figure that, ma'am, this looks like this thing. Just not four, but you can match this image with something else as well. Now see, you can become. Now what you can you become? When you have this visual intelligence. What can you become? You can become a navigator. Yes, navigator are those people who navigate, who, who help you find directions. Like in uh, for sailors, right? Sailors can find directions. Artists, sculptor, sculptor, inventor, architect, interior designer, mechanic, engineer. So see, so much scope for you. You can choose from this wide variety of profession. Then we have verbal intelligence. You like to use words and language. You speak well and think in words rather than pictures. Yes, whenever you read a novel, whenever you read a short story, whenever someone recites you a poem and you read it, then you become what? You become verbally acquainted with it. You become familiar with the accent of it. You learn new languages. Now let's. You you are good at speaking, writing, then storytelling. You can. Tell good stories. Then teaching, yes, like I am. Yes, I'm a teacher. I am. Maybe I'm good at teaching. Using humor, understanding the meaning of words, remembering information, convincing someone your point of view. Yes, this or like persuade someone that maybe a kind of manipulation. You can persuade something that I am thinking this way and this is the correct thing to think. Now you can become a poet. Journalist, writer, teacher, lawyer, politician, translator. Yes, children. Now the rest of, of the four intelligence we will be studying about them in our next video lesson. Till then, children, please take care of yourself and your family. Bye bye.